This is an epic card, guys. Look at look how shiny that is. I like it. Hi there, guys. Jeff the Pet here, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Skylanders Battlecast Ultimate Starter Kit, and this is off of Amazon.com. And let's go ahead and uh, see what all we get with this. I'm just going to open it up, and it's actually the box that came in. It was a box inside of a bigger box, but this is everything that comes with it. So that's empty. So let's go ahead and see what we get. We got one battle pack two battle packs so we got this really cool leather card case and we'll look at all this uh, individually but we also got one two three four five six seven eight nine booster packs it looks like so we got like I said uh, 22 uh, card battle pack and this one includes Spyro snapshot and Stormblade and uh, other character cards three fixed spell cards and this one right here comes with a uh, trigger happy hex and smash hit and then uh three fixed spell cards as well so a total of uh, 44 cards in between the two of those and then on top of that like i said we have this awesome leather case here um beautiful oh that is beautiful look at that and inside it's they're actually etched in there it's not just plat vinyl it's a uh, it's etched in there on the vinyl all the different symbols and it looks like it's gonna hold a lot of cards let's see how many cards it holds it's got a little magnet to close it here you see it actually like closes and doesn't shift around it's because there's a magnet right here so there we go uh, that's the carrying case pop fizz eruptor we got a uh, jet vac pop fizz eruptor jet vac so it's just three characters over and over again for the uh the covers of the booster packs so let's go ahead and uh open the battle packs first because i think those are the coolest ones uh let's go ahead and open this up all right so here we go um let's see looks like half the packaging is just plastic like unnecessary i don't know all right, so this is what's actually in there. There's nothing else in there. For, I don't know why they did such big things. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so inside here, we have a poster, it looks like. It has a checklist of all the character cards. And those are all the character cards that are available right there. And then... Uh, also, there's uh, spell cards, relic cards, and gear cards. So, common is the most common. Rare is a little bit harder to find. Epic is really hard to find. And ultimate is like next to hard to find. So, you want to get the yellow ones if you can. And then, you know, purple is nice. But uh, blue is okay too. But common is just like, eh. And, you know, you could probably trade and stuff like that. So, uh, something to keep in mind, guys. This right here is very important. This is. If you're going to uh, Instagram or show any of your cards online and brag about them, put them in this case before you show them off. So every one of these, uh, if you if you want to show it off on YouTube or Instagram or Twitter or whatever, make sure and put it in this case because it hides your individual code so no one else can have it. So uh, go ahead and let's go ahead and open this. All right, so the first one I got was Spyro. Uh, his attack is Dragon Breath and... Blast each enemy for 10 damage, and as you level up, that goes up, but uh, his attack is 60 to start with, and his energy is 340 to start with. So, that's his card. I've already got it. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the next one. Okay, and of course, the second one I got is Snapshot. His attack is 50, and his health starts off at 350. And attack is Sharpshooter. Shoot an enemy for 20 damage. All right, and then we got Stormblade, which attacks for 50 and then uh, has a 320 for health to start off with. And then uh, Feather Blades is the name of the attacks. Okay, the first one I got is called Amplifier, and it's for Spyro. It takes uh, two energy, and uh, while owner is active, you and your allies get a plus 12, a 20 spell damage. This one costs two energy, and it's called Hookshot. Swapping an enemy character. Snapshot drains 40 health from it. This one's a Stormblade card. It costs 3 energy and it's called Beam Barrage. Randomly slice your enemies for 110 damage. That's pretty awesome. Okay, this one's called Landslide and it's 5 energy and it is uh, randomly crush your enemies for 150 damage. 
All right, this one's called Bat Attack. It costs three energy and your active ally drains 40 health from an enemy character. All right, this is a Crypt King card. It's called Swarm Welcome and it costs three energy. Uh, Crypt King drains health equal to his power from an enemy character. All right, and this one's called Sky Lithium Scale. Gain a crystal and this one only costs uh, two energy. Okay, this one's a gear card. It's called Sky Iron Shield and it's all reflective. See, it's kind of holographic which is pretty cool. Uh, it costs three energy and it gives you plus 60 max health. Okay, this one is a rare card. It's called Prophetic Pick and at the start of your turn, gain one energy. It looks like it has 30 health on the right as well. So I don't know about that. Okay, this is a rare card as well. It's called Whirl and Swirl. And this one costs six energy to use. Whirlwind drains 80 health from the active enemy. All right, this one also is a rare card and it uses two energy and it's for stealth elf. While owner is active, give the active enemy minus 20 power. All right, this is another rare and this one's called Vampiric Vial and it has 60 health on it and it costs four energy. At the start of your turn, Vampiric Vial drains 20 max health from the active enemy. Okay, this is actually an epic card. This only costs one energy and it's called Bombrero. It's when owner deals damage to an enemy, blast that enemy for 20 extra damage and blast owner for 10 damage. This is an epic card, guys. Look at, look at how shiny that is. I like it. Okay, guys, I was also lucky enough to get Wasp Buckler. Uh, he attacks for 70 and his health is 220 to start off. And his attack is called Muck Shot. Give the active enemy a minus 30 power until your next turn. Wasp Buckler is actually an ultimate, which is the hardest kind to find. So that's really awesome. Okay, this one is common. It's called Excavate. It's a uh, gain of crystal. It costs three energy. And this one's rock solid. It's one energy and it's a common. Give your active ally plus 30 max health. This one's another common. It's one energy and it's called Boo. Afflict a frontline enemy for 20 damage. Swap in a random sideline enemy. This one's another common. It's a Ninjini card. It's called Wistful Thinking. It costs four energy. Gain two non-character cards. If Ninjini is bottled up, gain three non-character cards instead. All right, that's it for the first pack, guys. All right, guys, that's it for the unboxing of the uh, the Ultimate Pack. Uh, I understand I just uh, did one twenty-two card uh, battle pack. If you want me to do the rest, let me know in the comments. Smash that like button, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Skizzle.